Well, disappointing result eventually, but you must be really happy with the first half performance there today. That was an excellent piece of football. Ah, the first half was really pleasing for your side uh, point of view. It was, same, it was the same last week as well against Walker. Mm. The first half was excellent. And, uh, obviously, the second half we didn't start too well. We've kind of plugged on a wee bit in the second half rather than pushing forward a wee touch. But it's safe to win here after the game, because their own problems. Mm -hmm. Uh, what we did to take away the Here's first goal, yeah. great for us with the boy. I think it comes to our good play in the ball away as well. So, a dangerous area. Try to overplay the touch bit to see a great finish for the boy. Second one was a thought was a very soft penalty. Yeah. Easy would have been just great play on, but it's one of the things that happens there. Eh? And uh, the last one was the same. I had to go to the money after the game, it was just pure slackness for your side. Of it. Yeah, you took your time to get back out here t tonight, so aye, aye, a few aye. words. Aye, but I can't be more positive, as I say, I'm trying to be more uh, creative. Uh, we were having a go to them rather than just bring them down all the time. And, uh, I've been positive saying things like that. So. You were unfortunate not to score goals. There was an excellent uh, shot by David Greyhill in the second half came off. Uh, the stanchion of the bar and the post, you were very close to getting things, but just not there. I was just to say, two nil down, ten men, and if I was in a big change of game, or at least give you a wee, wee burst for ten minutes, you might get yourself back in, you never know what can happen in football, eh? but uh, mm -hmm. it's still, it's hard to get ten men in, especially mm -hmm. playing a team with some hockey, different divisions, so hopefully it's all. But a very young side, look as I've learned experience for them. You've got very good players there, Max Wright uh, and, uh, and David Greeno who I've mentioned already, yeah. both really confident on the ball, working the ball very well, and in the second half especially, Max Wright controlling the ball well, just outside the penalty area and spreading passes around. That must have pleased you a lot. Ah, yeah, pleased you to say, because we've actually got quite a good squad. As you say, we've got some boys that are really, really comfy on the ball and good to play, and that's what I've tried to add, be a bit more quality to the squad. We come in and I spoke to a couple of them that were here last year, so obviously our style's a wee bit different from the way we used to play. But I like to try and get the body in and play as much as we can, but unfortunately today, because two of the goals was trying to overplay a wee bit, and uh, that's, that's something that we'll look at in this, in this week at Trail. League season next uh, starts off next week. That's why we're waiting in Trolls, so as I say, we'll just build again. And then it's always be difficult. Not a hard season ahead, obviously, with this pyramid thing kicking in. So we've got the same objective. <laughs> Is it? We'll finish in at the bottom, but we're uh, happy with the squad we've got and the quality we've got, so hopefully things will come in the right direction. A much better performance this week, Mark. Um, well, we, as I say, we spoke about it before the game. We had to be professional. We had to compete because we never done that last week. The first 50, 45 minutes, and we were in. We won our second battles. We won. We were dogged. We played the game in their half. But the most important thing was we actually went and got in a boat and made it hard for them, which we never done to play last week. The first 45 minutes, and for me, that's the reason why we won the game today. I think you could see the difference. You heard the reaction from the fans at the end. There was real support for the team. They realised what they'd done. It was a tough first half. Though. Oh, it is. That's what I mean. You've got to win your, got to win your battles in the first 45 minutes and, and earn that right to go and, go and take, take the game, which we did do in the second half. Even, even before the second half happened, we were still well in control and we were getting the team out with the score at that point. So, again, we just wanted to come here, get through to the next round and kept the clean sheet with four goals. And our two midfielders scoring, both the strikers scored two goals as well, so it's, a, it's pleasing all round anyway. You talked about it was the time for Donnelly to try and get some confidence. That can't have hurt him at all today. <laughs> he thinks he's one of these players, he's, he's an actual goal scorer. He, he comes alive in that final third and in that box. And it was really important to go off the mark today. And his first goal was different class. He's, he's, he's put it onto his so called weaker foot and bent in the top corner. And, he scored another one, I was actually going to take him off uh, just before he got his second goal and gave big Sean McKenzie a run out, but when he got that second one, I was on today's hat trick, but wasn't it wee, but again, he'll, he'll take him off a lot for that and, and he'll, he'll build on that and he'll, he'll be a good player for us. 
it was really uh, lovely to see uh, McGovern, JP, come in through, playing slightly deeper in the second half and, and seemed to relish that role, passing the ball through, and great link-up play with them all the way through the second half. I actually felt last week, uh, because of the way the game planned out, we couldn't get him into the game, into the, between the lines, between the defence and midfield, we actually starting higher up to drop in the areas. And we couldn't get him on the ball as much, uh, but the fact that we actually played him as a kind of front centre midfield, where they are going to join in and get him. Link with strikes, link with right players, and the JP is an excellent piece, and he's very, very clever. And again, he was one of the many pluses of the day, I think the full team done really well. So. If there's anything that's a bit worrying, it was the injury there to Michael Donald, who went up and landed nah, kind of just, badly. He just landed all over, it's nothing to worry about. You take him off, it's a bit of precaution as well. And uh, you Pedro come on and then great again, gave us a lot of life and a lot of energy up that side, and he's, he's great. He's, he's one of these guys that could be an impact player the way Forrest was last season. And, this is his kind of development year in the first team squad and so far he's done a great job. Very unlucky not to score a goal but eventually it did drop for Donnelly yeah. to get in the net as well. But we've also got the other one, we saw Kevin McKinley coming off, uh, limping off a little bit. Is that just precautionary because it's a long term injury? Or uh, he's, he's been struggling for a while and we just wanted to get him decent game time and then the fact that the game's planned out the way it is, we could get him off and, and get him the Mura shot as well which was great to see another one of the youngsters come in and, and do But he should have scored as well for right back. But, no, Kev, you see the difference that he gives us, he's uh, energetic, he's got something that pitch, he's aggressive, which is the main thing for me, and my back has got a presence from him and Martin Campbell and Kim Murphy are in there. You actually said Andrew Muir there, he slotted in very well, you didn't notice no. that uh, we had a youngster suddenly slotting into the, the back four? No, he's came in, he's, Andy's one of these 100%, I'll see, you know what you're going to get for you, Andy. It's, obviously the game's a wee bit false at that point when we're, we're totally literally dominating there. They're down to 10 men, it's hard for them, but they never really get tested. But he came in, he did fine, he, he was doing the things that we were asking him to do, getting forward and joining in the play. And, him and Forrest were, were linking up on that right hand side, which was, was good. So, no, it's good to blood them and get them in. That's the ideal time to get them in when, when the game is pretty much dead and buried. So, it brings us to next week. Feeling a bit more positive about it. You've seen your team perform, especially in the second half, very well. Happy? Aye, the real stuff. It's the real stuff next week. Uh, it's great to get through in the cup. You know, everybody knows that the bread and butter's are league and to get us. It's a right good game to start with. Morton at home and a decent crowd there. Uh, it's one of the ones we've why did we really start well in the first quarter and do what we've done last season and make sure we're in the, the top four positions and probably sustain it a little bit longer. But as I say, all we want to do is compete. And if we can compete the teams, we've got the quality there to go and hurt them and, and if we can do that, we'll have a good season. I think fans have been asking about squad news. You were saying you need near, probably three more players there. Are we any closer? Hey, we're working away. And as, as, as I've said to many people, I'll never rush into it until it's the right ones. And, I think I have brought the right ones in this summer and, I've, and I do still have to bring an off three and if I can get them to the end then we'll be much stronger. Because if you look at the bench today, it's, it's full of kids, plus myself, which goes on the count, but if I can get another two or three of the, the guys that I want, I think we'll be fine.